Hi, Ken Madden here with Gold Strike. Welcome to our video installation series. Today I'm going to show you how to install the filler panel lights. Uh, these are great run turn brake lights that are easy to install. They're simple plug and play like all the rest of the Gold Strike line. And I will show you exactly what you need to know to get them installed correctly. Let's get going. So to get started, we're going to take the fender here off. There's a five millimeter screw up inside of here and another one inside of here. And then you pop it off and unplug the um, license plate light. So pretty simple to start off with. We'll uh, get right to that. Taking the fender off is very simple. Um, there's a screw here and screw here like I mentioned. And all you need is a five millimeter Allen wrench. Put it up there. You know, two of these that'll come out. Just a little shoulder bolt. And there, and there. It's the second one. Once you've got the screws out, just give this a pull on the bottom. It pops out just like so. Pull it out. And there's a plug on the back side. It is right there. This is your license plate light plug. Flip it around so you can see it. Very simple. Now that you have the fender off, what we want to do is we want to clean this area. I'm going to use some ammonia based window cleaner. You want to clean that area very, very well. Make sure that there's no wax or anything on there. Do both sides. that dry make sure you have that good and clean um, that's the most important thing this needs to be clean and free of dust and dirt or these will not stick so the way these are gonna sit on here is about like this all right so the way you place it is on the bottom there's a notch right there you can feel it I'll put a close-up picture in there for you so you can see it there that notch lines up with the break between the painted part and the plastic part on the bottom here. So you want to line up that notch just like so. You see the notch right there. You want to line that up. You line it up on the bottom and then what you do is you'll slowly bring this down keeping it even with the side right there and then press it on. So once you're ready, simply take the tape off. Line up that bottom notch there. I just have it touch on the corner like that. And then bring the top up, even with the side. And then press it on. And you'll want to give it some good pressure on there. Make sure it's fully seated. And that is beautifully attached. Now we'll do the same part on the other side. You know, again, you want to line up the notch. It's right there with that notch right there. And you stick it on. So we'll get that put on there and I'll show you what the next steps are. Now that we have our parts stuck on here. You want to run that wire back. You want to run it around. Here we're going to, we're going to put a, a zip tie here to tie that off. This particular bike has a trailer hitch so this wire you can just follow this harness right up. We're basically following the same path as that. We're going to go up way up inside of here and feed that up. Two. above the seat. Once you have the lights set up on there, uh, you want to turn the ignition on. Before I put everything together, I like to make sure they're all going to work and work properly. As you can see, they do. There's uh, run, 
Got your brake light and right turn signal, left turn signal, hazard lights. So that's all working good. We like it. All right. Fender's back in. Just put the last two bolts in here. All right, that is installation. I'm going to turn it on one more time, see if it works. Yeah, see, look at that. So there's your new filler panel lights. Um, I think you're going to really like them. Also, you can see here, this one has the fender extender. I've also got a license plate frame and the reflector cover. This all kind of goes in the same area, and um, it's, really, it's really actually easy to do them all at once. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to know more about any of the products that you saw today, go ahead and click the links below or go to goldstrike3d.com. Um, you can also give us a call at the office anytime at 715-808-0027, and we will take care of you. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.